The Tensegrity model helps me explaining to my clients why it's important for them making the proper exercise and the proper movement. Let me explain to you. If I take the simplex and I put it in this situation, now I'm asking you to imagine this is the spine here, this strut. These are the shoulder, the shoulders, and this is the pelvic griddle. Here we can have the legs, and here in the middle with the rubber bands get crossed, here we represent the thoracolumbar fascia. So when we go for a walk or when we go running, we move our lumbar thoraco fascia this much. When we are sitting down, for example, in the office for a long time, we put our thoracolumbar fascia in this situation with these angles and under these stresses. But the problem that I say to my clients is that after being eight hours sitting down and you go again on your feet and you start running and running and running, you are just moving your fascia thoracolumbar part just a little. You need to explore by doing another exercises and other movements that could allow your lumbar fascia to feel and to, uh, how do you say, to feel and to see and to expertise the three dimensional movements so like that. When you go after that running, you can ask for that lumbar part to be running 10 kilometers. When you are sitting down on your desk, it will be more than nice to hold the eight hours that you need to do. And this is, for example, how we use it.